Hi everyone, it's Tarnished Treasures. It's been really hot out, like very humid, so we definitely hit our heat wave. I think that like the feel yesterday was 108. So after work and after camp, we've just been hibernating, which has given me a lot of time to get this room back in order. I moved the furniture and I got rid of that green cabinet. So I had a lot of rearranging and reorganizing to do mainly figure out what I was going to do with my art supplies. I also found my moth. Many of you were very funny in the comments on the last video saying that I should check my wool and my sweaters. <laughs> and actually, I did find him in the closet uh, when I was breaking down the rolling cart setup that I had here. I had some little boxes and I guess the moth was down there and some glass pieces and perfume bottles and I put them in a box in the closet to keep them safe um, so I could move the rolling cart and bring the new cabinet in. So the moth is back. Uh, someone had asked how I made it and I never filmed a video because this I did it um, for school. I believe I had some scrap fabric, maybe a piece of wire or a pipe cleaner, and I just wrapped some fabric around it. Then I had a little bit of a fabric tape measure and just some silver string, and I wanted it to be very kind of sloppy and, and messy looking. Looks like I put a little bit of glitter on the tip of the tail, and uh, for the legs, they are gold paper clips. So I just cut and bent those, put them on top of the body, and then the wings are glued on top of all of that to sandwich it together. And the wings are um, sheet music. And then I think I cut like a little piece of card or ca like card stock and wrapped it with some fabric to give it some stiffness and then put some lace on top. Looks like I trimmed it in some of that silver string, added some embellishments on top, and then these are just two pins, like corsage pins that I stuck in there for the antennas. Just made it all up on my own, but it's pretty sturdy, held together nicely. I really enjoyed making that first moth, so I made another one. Um, I think I'm gonna make more this year too, because I think I made these about a year and a half ago. This is the handle to a button hook, and I took the rod off with the hook because it was rusty, but it looks like a handle to an old piece of silverware, like a fork or a knife, so you could always use that. Those same gold paper clips, and then you can see the sheet music again with, um, it has a ribbon and then lace on top. Just glued that, and then because this was hollow, I believe this was like a stick pin, these two pieces all together. So I just inserted it. The other thing I did was I shopped my house to sort out this situation. So the first thing I did is I put up this fan and I've been meaning to display this fan on the wall. And I just extended it and said, eh, maybe I can kind of tuck it behind these two mirrors and it worked. I like how it even overlaps the one mirror because it starts to unify this section. As I was sitting on the bed, just looking and thinking, I had this hanging from the doorknob on the closet. And I said, well, let's put that up. But yeah, I like that. It's off white and pleated. So it complements the pleats of the fan and the off white of this frame. It has some black velvet, which is picked up in the art, so it was really coming together. And I still had this awesome mirror hanging here. Well, I walk into the living room and I said, oh, it's probably time to take down some of these red, white, and blue banners. This mirror was here and I said, well, this is the type of mirror that I want in the bedroom, but the frame is so dark. I guess I just never really paid attention to it. It's like a dark brown and it has this kind of very hard to describe bluish grayish green color in some recessed areas. So I took it down and I said, well, first I'm going to just put a little bit of rub and buff on the high spots to lighten it up, bring a little shimmer to it. So I did that and I was happy. And then I said, well, let me rewire it 
and hang it in here just to see if this really is the style of, of mirror I would like in here. So I've got a pretty sturdy uh, screw and anchor in the wall here and I hung it and I'm quite pleased. And I shopped my house. I didn't have to spend any money. This was only $5 at the yard sale when I originally got it. And it is larger than what I had had in the first place. So I think it fills the space better. I definitely do something bigger as well, but I'm happy with that. Could even be cool with one above it. So I was testing it out to see if I wanted some of these gold mirrors and I definitely do. So what I did is I took this mirror and put it back to where it's been for about the past six months. And now my wall is filled again. So at the moment, I am not gonna go out of my way to find these gold mirrors, but if they come to me, I will definitely purchase them. This also was in the living room around my abstract painting, and I think I'm gonna take that into school to put on a bulletin board and then have some type of um, definition about aesthetics in it or hang it on the wall and then put art inside. But I've always loved this and it's made its way around my house but taking it into school, I'm just like on this mission to take things that I really love in. I'm on a kick now to shop my house and see what I can use in here to organize or just utilize better. And I'm taking back this little lingerie, jewelry organizer. I picked this up at an estate sale for probably under a dollar. And I put it in my daughter's room and I thought she could put like chapstick and jewelry in it and she never used it. So I have this little bin here of like three dimensional sculpting pieces and I just haven't figured out what to do yet. And it's fine in this bin because I can see everything easily, but I would prefer for things to have their own little section and compartment. Our neighbor just gave, came by, this is our direct neighbor, and he gave us three beautiful zucchinis. So I will make those tonight. I was gonna um, boil this cauliflower to have with the rest of the meat sauce. Um, so that'll be just a really nice meal. And I gave him one of our big cucumbers and two green peppers. So it was nice that we um, had different crops that are flourishing and we're able to share. I just went to the garden just for a second when I was taking the trash out. I got a big pepper. Um, this is what I saw. I did not go digging for cucumbers. I'm sure there's tons more. And uh, there's a corn plant. It's so funny. And it actually has something that looks like a corn at the top. All three of these yellow squashes from the garden, the zucchini is the one left over from our neighbor, cucumbers, some cherry tomatoes, and all of these cucumbers. And I've already given two to our neighbor before I even came inside. I'm working here at my desk and this is my new autograph album. And I just wanna add something to the front of it. Um, it looks like it probably said album or photos here in metal that has fallen off. Could have been um, celluloid too. So I have some of these from an album and I've just been playing around and I think I'm just gonna tuck this one into um, the corner. I could use a little pin and pin it on the inside, but I think it'll stay. And I'm gonna put it on display and it's so dark that I think just that little bit of metal will bring some attention to it. And I am working on my little jewelry boxes. I don't think I'm actually gonna glue the items in. I like the idea of being able to change them out. So I have this little lady who reminds me of Marie Antoinette. So I have this cake and this little plate. And you know, I could also put like a, a little fleur-de-lis or a piece of jewelry or something. And then when I get uh, bored with that, I could change it up. And then that way I don't have to um, glue on the velvet and fabric. I made avgo lemon soup and I made it the way that my grandfather would always serve it to us. He would take out the vegetables, he would take out the chicken and serve it on the side. And then it was just a noodle soup. The soup is for the kids and it takes uh, five egg yolks. So I've got the egg whites left over. So I'm gonna scramble those up. I have salt and pepper in there, a little bit of ham and some Colby Jack cheese. I don't really know if that looks great, but it smells good and a little hot sauce on top. So thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.